Hey, what's going on? We are gonna talk about the Ducks and I'm gonna rant a little bit. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing and also like the video because it certainly helps out the channel. But we need to have an adult conversation. You know, we need to get serious right now. I am just beside myself with Ducks fans as a whole right now because I'm so sick and tired of this blame game nonsense. Ducks fans blaming Lucas Dostal last night for everything that's happening. Not just, you know, that hockey is uh, hockey and there's bounces and there's plays that where teams get breaks or you have amazingly skilled athletes who can shoot the puck and snipe it with this much room over your shoulder. Yes, was there some extra grease in between Lucas Dostal's five hole last night? Yes, I'm not dumb. Do you guys want to know how many games he's played in the National Hockey League so far this year? Eight games. He played four from the previous year, and you want to know how old he is too? He's 22! Just give him a sec! Did you also know that the Ducks are a minus 92 in differential and have been scored on 230 times this season, which is the worst in the National Hockey League. Oh, well, who else we got to blame, Zach? Oh, it's got to be on Dallas Eakins. You know what? Dallas Eakins, you know what? He's a part of the problem. But I'll tell you something right now, Ducks fans, is that he's a part of the problem, but he only has so much power to tell the guys to go out there and execute. He only has so much to say, it's up to them. Our defensive game stinks. It's the worst I've ever seen it since 1995. I have never seen a Ducks team in my life who just can't, you know, just flip the puck off the glass, get it out of the zone, or the neutral zone turnovers, or Kevin Shattenkirk making mistakes, Klingberg making mistakes, Cam Fowler making mistakes. I could do, Dmitry Kulikov, do, I mean, do, what the, what else do I need to say? Dealing with Trevor Zegers passing more than shooting. I feel like I'm having PTSD from a certain someone for 17 years. That's the thing I can't stand about this fan base is that we're so quick to blame the one guy instead of just saying, you know what? This team is going through a rebuild. Oh, we've been going through a rebuild since the 25th anniversary. That is not true. That is not true. You want me to break it down for you now? We had a GM, a GM who told us so many times that Oh, we're retooling, guys. Oh, even though we're coming off one of our worst seasons offensively, we're just one guy away from being that team. And then he fed us this lie for years until finally this awful stuff came out about how he was manipulating players, you know, threatening players, threatening coaches. Like... The writing was on the wall. Now we have Pat Verbeek in there. And yes, he's not doing anything at the moment. But the trade deadline's two and a half weeks away. If nothing happens then, then it's going to happen at the end of the season. Like, be patient. Then this is why I think some people should just have their social media taken away. Because I'm like, you have no idea the fabrications or just the analytics of what is actually going on in that locker room. Do I know what's going on in that locker room? No. Do I know what's going on in the bench? No. But I have eyes and I've coached teams, not at the National Hockey League level, but I've coached teams and I've dealt with multiple personalities and kids and just people. As I calm down, okay? Guys, we all know what this team is. They stink. We know that. We had some hope from what we were coming off last year where we kind of surprised the NHL and we were pretenders, not contenders. And this year, we are so far away from being a contender. And I'm sorry, but Connor Bedard is not going to fix that. We're still waiting for our master chief to come in and to finally get a grasp on this room. We need a new coach. I would say we need a new coaching staff defensively and offensively. We need somebody who is very defensive-minded. We need better defense. Jamie Drysdale, who's one of our top four guys, is out right now. We need to get rid of some dead cap. I'm talking about guys like Jakob Silverberg, who are useless out there. And I know some of you are not going to like to hear that. Adam Henrique, he's been having a great year, but we can get a good return for him. It's time to move on from these pieces. It's just going to require patience. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Look, sitting here and blaming the one thing is not looking at the entire picture. If it was just the one thing, don't you think Pat Verbeek would do something about it right now? No, he's thinking about, okay, what pieces are working? What pieces are not working? What prospects do we have coming through? And that's the thing that Ducks fans don't pay attention to. Only some do. Like me, like because I'm a crazy person. I look at the prospects and who's coming through and who's going to be at camp next year. Because this year means nothing, guys. It's rebuilding. It's looking at personalities and character. 
It's all of these factors. And you should also look at, if you're a super fan and you're just like, I don't really care, I don't care as long as they win, then fine, this doesn't relate to you. But to sit there and blame the one thing game after game after game, have some self-reflection, man. Look, so the Ducks take on the Kings on Friday, and I'm just going to say one thing. The game means nothing. It means nothing. It doesn't matter if there are crosstown rivals. If you think the Ducks and Kings still have a rivalry, which hasn't happened since, I want to say since 2013, fine. If you think that that is a, a thing to just be like, oh, as long as we beat them, I'm happy. It means nothing. The win means nothing. There's no bragging rights. The Kings are going to the playoffs and the Ducks are going to be golfing. It means nothing. Until both teams are competitive, which the Kings are clearly 10 steps ahead of us because Luke Robitaille and Rob Blake have done a great job. Like, stop getting so upset when the Ducks lose. You have to sit back and laugh at some point and just be like, yeah, we're, we're clearly not ready. We're at least two to three years away. And I know for some, that's too long. I get it. Guys, I know I went off in this video and I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. So I just want to say, if you guys want to catch up on all my breakdowns, follow me on Instagram and also follow me here on YouTube. I put up, you know, short little breakdowns because that's all the time I have to do them. But I wanted to make this video because I'm so sick and tired of goaltenders being blamed game after game after game. And that's why we're losing. No, it has to do with our offense stinks and our defense stinks. This team stinks as a whole. And that's all I'm going to say. Otherwise, I'm going to keep going. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Hit that like button. Also, subscribe because, you know, we're, we're going to be here. So let's go Ducks.